Hello and welcome to Thought for February the 1st. Our readings are taken from Exodus chapter 5 and 6, Psalm 58 and 59, and Romans chapters 10 and 11. And our thought is the kindness and severity of God. It is fundamental to human nature, uninfluenced by God's word, to become proud about what they are achieving. Paul makes this point strongly in chapter 11 of his letter to the Romans. He warns the Gentile converts not to follow the same path as did most leading Jews in their pride, in their privileged position before God. He uses an analogy of an olive tree. We understand that the trunk of the tree was Abraham, Isaac and Jacob with the Jewish nation as the branches. Paul then makes the point to the Gentiles that the natural branches were broken off so that you might be grafted in, Romans 11 verse 19, adding, they were broken off because of their unbelief, but you stand fast through faith, so do not become proud, but stand in awe, verse 20. Tragically, the Gentile branches have become proud and so many have been broken off or are in the process of dying. Observe the principle later stated in Romans chapter 11, verse 22. Note then the kindness and the severity of God. It is tragic that so often all the emphasis is on the kindness and love of God as though he is purely a God of love, ever forgiving, despite continuing sinfulness. Paul comments on the future of the natural branches, saying, If they do not continue in unbelief, they will be grafted in again. For God has the power to graft them in again, adding, How much more will these, the natural branches, be grafted back into their own olive tree? Romans 11 verses 23 and 24. Paul warns the Gentiles not to be wise in your own conceits. The twin brother of pride is conceit. The thing I want you to understand, he says, is that a partial hardening has come upon Israel until the fullness of the Gentiles has come in. Verse 25. We feel we are close to this fullness of time when the gospel has reached every corner of the world and then the end shall come as we read in Matthew 24 and verse 14 last week. Let us stand in awe as we witness the fullness of time and pray we may be grafted in or be grafted in if we are not yet part of God's olive tree. Thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day where together we can open up the pages of God's Word remembering that they are a lamp to our feet and a light to our path.